What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. What you're about to listen to is episode one of a weekly discussion series with me, Houndish, and Story Machine that we're planning on continuing in the future. I wanted to introduce this series because I wanted to explain it a little bit and uh, kind of give you guys a heads up of what we've got planned. This is going to be a kind of weekly reset discussion. So we're going to discuss the weekly reset. Uh, we're going to talk about kind of issues, concerns that we've had in the previous week, what we think's coming in the next week, that kind of a thing. So it should be a very current eventy sort of discussion. We will be going through what the deal is with the current weekly reset, whether that's with Iron Banner or whether it's an odd nightfall or you know an odd prison of elders, whatever it might be, uh, we'll be talking about this and I think it'll give us a nice format to discuss it. We're gonna try and keep these discussions pretty short, around the 20 minute mark or so. I think you guys are gonna enjoy them. They will be evolving in the future, I'm sure, as all projects do. We'd love to hear your feedback, so let us know in the comments and without further ado, let's get into it. Hello! Um, today we've got something very different. Uh, actually, it's quite the same as everything else, but it's got three different people in it, which is good, which is very nice. We've got, <laughs> we're going to chat some Destiny stuff with myself um, and um, Briar Rabbit. Say hello, Briar. Hello, Briar. <laughs> Nicely. And Houndish. Hello. Who comes from around the corner, from around my mum and dad's house, which is amazing. And um, yeah, today we're going to bring you some Destiny lip flappage on the weekly reset. How's about that? I bet you've all got naked and started to perspire. As one does. It's Exactly. So activities wise, I think we should go through the weekly activities because that's like a bit science and science is good for the brain. So uh, King's Fall Raid, we've got all the modifiers and whatnot. Nightfall Strikes, Weekly Heroic Strikes, Challenge of the Elders, Prison of Elders, and the Weekly Crucible Playlist. So to start the ball rolling, we've got King's Fall Raid, and this week's modifier happens to be the War Priest Challenge, isn't it, boys? It certainly yeah. is. And I believe it's a them. good place to pick up a Calcified Fragment if you're looking to complete your Moments yeah. of Triumph. Exactly. And um, artifacts, if you're a bit short on the artifacts, you're going to want to play hard mode and grind with all three characters like a grindy bastard. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and that, that need we uh, need we cover anything more about King's Fall Raid? That's it, really, isn't it? You've That's got your it. War yep. Priest Challenge, Artifacts Galore, three... You see, we're having 335 weapons now from the... Uh, the hard modes, at least, aren't we? Or do, are we getting them yeah. in normal mode? It's been a while since I've even touched a raid, in all honesty. No, I thought it's all the 320. Yeah, normal. normal mode drops 320. You can drop higher at uh, in the hard mode. Nice. Nice. Sweet. Well, that'll do then. That'll do. And then Nightfall Strike, which we're going to be playing a little bit later. We've got. Uh, it's the Sunless Cell. <sighs> dark Blade. In the dark. <laughs> poking around in the dark after a man with a odd brain helmet thing and a it? big stick and a big stick <laughs> um, modifiers we've got epic heavily shielded and highly aggressive enemies appear in great numbers specialist special weapon damage is favored fresh troops some enemy squads have been fortified with additional reinforcements uh, match game enemy shields are resistant to all unmatched elemental damage oh great I, I love that that makes me so happy it's a lot of fun and of course, the exposure. Guardian shields are increased, but do not replenish. So, uh, what, what do you reckon? Yeah, I'm sure we're <laughs> going to have a barrel of bloody laughs with that one later on. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a sweaty nightfall. Mm. I, I, I'm feeling a bit sick, boys. I think I've got a sore throat. I might have to lie down for 48 hours. <laughs> I just got a new mattress <laughs> delivered. Oh, well, Paul around Bryce's Bri Bri house. We'll, uh, we'll give it a... We'll christen it. Give it a testing. Ooh. <laughs> An ambulance just drove past my house. Oh, well. It's been the moment of the week. <laughs> the highlight of the week. Uh, of course, next would be uh, weekly heroic strikes. What, what doth we have? Uh, no burn. Mm, no burn. We've got heroic, obviously. Especially special weapon damage is favoured. Ironclad, more enemies have shields. Airborne, players deal more damage while in the air. So, uh, if you're a strikeaholic, you're um, you're going to be burnless, basically. Yeah, a lot less fun mm. than last week. You know, it's funny how the, the Vanguard heroic strikes have kind of taken the place of the nightfall with the burns. And the burns <laughs> on the... On the nightfalls have gotten a little more difficult, in my opinion, to try and hopefully to try and make those 
those nightfalls kind of more of an end game activity, right? Uh, I find it pretty yeah. interesting. I like that they've done this with the Vanguard Heroics. Mm. Yeah, it makes the Heroics a lot more fun, a lot yeah. more appealing to play as well. And you can grind for that rep, which is nice mm-hmm. most weeks. Yeah, mm-hmm. Unless we get like an absolute bastard week mm-hmm. where they make it essentially impossible. That won't be much fun, but... Yeah, Previously, now, pretty good. I had I, I had very much a best strike loadout, right? I could get into the Vanguard yeah. Heroics with the perfect set of gear. I had, uh, I think I was a hung jury, uh, some sniper rifle with Firefly on it. You know, just <laughs> nice. like, just a bunch of really good gear that would just mow through any strike I came across. Now, when I look at the Vanguard Heroics, I actually got to think about it. I actually got to think, okay, what are the burns? What are, you know, what's what's good to use what's not good to use here this week Let's we've see. got uh airborne and specialist so i'm going to be jumping around with a shotgun i'm going in there with a shotgun i'm going to be jumping all over the place trying to do as much damage while in the air with my shotgun as i can that's i'm looking forward awesome. to it yeah that's it i like that man that was that's one of the things i like about challenge of elders as well it's like you just want to pull out gear that you wouldn't necessarily you know use on a day-to-day basis some stuff that i've like literally never use yeah i've decided to pull out just for challenge of elders or the weekly heroics it's it's nice that they kind of you know they give you that opportunity to think well, yeah stuff man it's good more. to showcase the variety because we've got a huge arsenal of stuff in the game yeah. you know and if you're a pvp a holic you're not really going to be tapping into that variety right, of you arsenal. Use six guns in pvp yeah <laughs> yeah that's it it's Absolutely. like a venn diagram of the six guns you use in pvp the six guns you use in pve there's a little bit of overlap there yeah just <laughs> a now, wee bit you know hopefully with the vanguard heroics uh this will expand your arsenal a little bit good man that's it man um so challenge of elders this week We've got, for the modifiers, catapult, grenade recharge is greatly increased. Hmm, I guess many folk will be reaching for their warlocks and strapping on the old nothing manacles. Absolutely. Grounded, players take more damage while airborne, so we're going to be uh, crawling around on the floor. And a grenade kill bonus, so it's nade heaven this week. Yeah, yep. it's going to be Because grenade awesome. kills are worth more points. So um, I'm confident we'll be able to rouse through that quite quickly then, if we're on a triple warlock. Yeah, absolutely, man. I dislike I like, grounded though. It, it's yeah, really, yeah. it's like an anti-fun perk. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Um, and of course, uh, what have we got after the uh, on prison of elders? What have we got for prison? Um, Ooh, oh, oh no, actually. not a fat lot actually. There's there's no modifiers or anything from that. Just your sterling treasure package, weekly bonus. And while um, we're on the subject of that prison of elders, I feel like they've wasted that so much like the fact that you can only get this sterling treasure from it like yeah. if you could have if they had like a little pool of specific like legendary things that you could get out of there or maybe some of the varic stuff you know yeah, like the house of judgment open if they let up. some of those occasionally drop oh, yeah. like, open you'd have that kind up, of a man, reason to play it yeah they're like the the house of judgment weapons the fallen stuff i, I mean that's unobtainable for me at the minute i haven't had yeah. i think i've had the queen's the, the, the sidearm the crow's nest sidearm or whatever it is that's it yeah. there's all these uh, there's pulse rifles auto rifles loads hand cannons all of that stuff is just completely inaccessible uh, every Some time of that, it is absolutely. really good too yeah like yeah, I, I want that hand cannon I want that pulse rifle the scan yeah. I mean I'd, I'd like to have the whole set you know for the collectionist in me but like it's completely inaccessible every Varix package has got me a class item so far or a ship mm-hmm. so uh, that's it yeah. man uh, and a lot of people are items. kind of they've kind of got to the point where it's just it's not worth grinding all the way around for that rep yeah. just to you know try and get something that doesn't drop I feel like they should maybe just update that that 41 Prison of Elders yeah man get the weapons do to drop with it plus um, it's like taken if I'd as well isn't it like yeah. right when you're in the middle you've got like the taken stuff going on and you don't get that in Challenge of Elders and yep. yeah Challenge of Elders so I feel like that's yeah. you know kind of weird um, anyway <laughs> uh, good point. Uh, uh, absolutely. We'll, you know, send a carrier pigeon over to the the bungee guys, man. Because that, I'm just, I'm, I'd really like to have a go with all those fallen weapons, and yeah, yeah. they're just inaccessible. Um, so then the crucible playlist for the week is boom doubles again. Thankfully, uh-huh. this is this is really good news for those of you view that are grinding for the uh, grimoire score. I myself mm-hmm. need this. So I should make some time to play some this week if I can. Um, Me too. Yeah. So doubles. That 
there isn't anything. It's going to be sweaty. Yeah, sp- oh, yeah. We also have a uh, freelance six v six, I think, isn't it? Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Yep. So that's anyone interesting. playing solo, you're going to have slightly better matchmaking. <laughs> 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 it, it, yeah. That's something that always it's like it's slightly better, but then win lose ratio pops in and goes nah. <laughs> yeah, let's move you up a bracket here. Yeah, I'm excited about the doubles though. The weekly, yeah, it being the weekly. Uh, you know that means a lot more people join into those playlists. So the matchmaking yeah. should, in theory, work better when there's a bigger player pool joining those activities. Yeah. Uh, and I really like doubles. I got super addicted to it actually during the Crimson Doubles event. Which, that was a great event, man. It was just a bit you know, broken, you know. But the, yeah, the, the, I mean, the it, it had its issues. But I got I got down with one of my friends, Skinny, and we played a ton of it, and it was super fun because it's just it's such a intimate relationship with your teammate just having one yeah. you know one person you know even even more so than trials just having that one other person to rely on you're just constantly communicating yeah. you're talking to that one guy it's really easy to make a fire team because you only need two people yep. uh, i i just absolutely adore doubles uh and i'm i'm looking forward to playing a lot of it this week it's nice to see it come back so quickly after it was what, what was it a month ago it, it was in the rotation and before that there was like month it was February it was like months three months worth yeah. of waiting so yeah. to see it come back on a bit more of a regular rotation is another plus really yeah, isn't it absolutely um, so there that's the weekly reset in a nutshell isn't it really yeah pretty much yeah done right <laughs> All right, so that is the podcast slash discussion slash thing that we'd recorded. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions, I definitely want to hear them down in the comments below. Of course, you must absolutely check out Houndish and Story Machine on YouTube, on Twitter. I'll put their links down in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll love you forever.